Hi, I'm starting a band at age 49. Those of you who followed me for a long time know that I have had a lot of different projects. I've had my own stuff. I've had my Yacht Rock album. I've had my Hard Rock band with Sean Kelly, who I love. I sang with this gentleman who'd be very pleased to know that my child has painted on his box set. Maybe you want to start something and you need a little inspiration. So first of all, whatever you've been doing to this stage, I would say, don't say I should have done that or I should have, would have, could have, all of that because the moment is now. So you have to start right now. I think it's useful to look at what has been working for you. So maybe there's something that you do in your current work that is special and it makes people feel connected or makes a lot of sense, gives you inspiration. So from that point of view, I think it's great to reflect on what is working and then you can amplify that. So in this case, I felt called to do this metal band and it comes, it really just, I felt called to do it. And the band name dropped out of the sky for me. I grew up in an environment where, well, my parents were amazing, but they're really busy. And so anytime I had a problem, which was every 30 seconds, <laughs> I was constantly told I was too sensitive or overreacting. And this concept of overreacting, I think women are still criticized for feeling their feelings. So this name overreacts came out of the sky to me. I wanted to try to do this band a little bit differently where we're so focused on the external and it made me start to think like we're always probably going to live in contradiction but if we have to live in contradiction perhaps we could make some better choices so this idea of maybe starting from within so really listening to what i want to do and, and one of the things that came to me was that i need to write these songs myself so go back into this room get the guitar out and write so I've started, I got one song started called Face the Fire. You know, I think like we get pretty caught up in trying to make everything perfect right off the bat. So starting a metal band on an acoustic, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I had to start somewhere, I had to start with something. So you might not have all the tools to start whatever it is that you wanna do, but you probably have something, right? Piece of paper, your notes app. I love this idea of not having to have a lot of money to start something that means a lot to you. So just started with a kind of like a Metallica type thing. And what really resonated with me was some recent news and it just, you can take the news and let it destroy your life or you can see some of the glimmers of hope that are in these horrible stories. So that's what my first song is about. So where I'm at right now is I started in GarageBand. So again, uh, you a lot of people would say that's not a pro way to go. Right now my Pro Tools doesn't my Pro Tools uh, interface doesn't work with my MacBook. So instead of getting hung up about that, I just opened GarageBand and just started recording. I eventually switched to another guitar. So this guitar was given to me by, um, well, I think I still have to pay for it, actually, but uh, for, by Godan. It's a Radium, and it's an amazing guitar. I mean, I don't actually know that if I'm going to play guitar in this band. I know for sure I'm going to sing in this band, but I don't know if I'm going to play guitar. So for the purposes of demoing, I just used this amazing guitar. It sounds great. <laughs> when inspiration strikes you got to get it down so who cares one of the things that i want to do with this band is just like inspire people to let go of that intense oversensitive overcritical caring that we are doing uh, especially as women it is holding us up from creating from living something i did do is i took a vocal lesson with this woman um who i met at a course that i took 
in at Boston Conservatory at Berkeley. And it was the first time I took a vocal lesson with a female teacher. I've been doing the same warm up for 25 years and I thought if I'm going to do this band, I want to expand. So Zipporah gave me a bunch of new exercises to do that go into my higher range. So I haven't actually started to implement those into my daily routine because I am so busy. So that's my goal for this week is just to make the time to do those higher mezzo-soprano warm-ups. I've asked a friend of mine, Tim Timlek, to demo the drums for me on this song. The great thing about the pandemic is that so many people are able to record at home. So if you find someone who's willing to help you out and record their tracks at home, then you got yourself a demo for, for hardly anything. I have the most amazing fans who have been with me through jazz records, through Roots records, um, me being in movies and writing books and doing singer-songwriter stuff and doing hard rock. And that's just me. That's just me. I love so many things. I grew up near Detroit, but also in Canada. So I love Gordon Lightfoot, just like I love um, DeBarge, even though El DeBarge is gotten into some hot water. So join me on this journey and maybe share with me what you're working on. I'd love to know. Mm -hmm.